actual news for Throne and Liberty. Yeah! Beta test in May. Only for Koreans. You can apply on their site from May 2nd to May 14th, but again, it's Korean only. I wonder if it's on site again. If it's not on site, maybe you can use a VPN, but in the last test, you had to have a Korean phone number and they would text you a code, I assume, something like that. And uh, so I think it's going to be pretty hard for us in the West to sign up for it. But I'm, of course, going to try. And if I figure out how to do it, uh, maybe I'll let you guys know. But if I let you guys all know, then it lowers my chances to get in. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how that goes. I assume I won't be able to sign up because I'm assuming they'll do like the last one where you need a Korean phone number to sign up and a Korean email address and things like that. Korean email address, I could probably come up with a way to get that. Korean phone number, I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish that one. And if it's on site, well then, definitely not going to be able to do that. And it's a whole week long, May 24th to May 30th. They decided to do a beta test to improve completeness by receiving more objective user opinions. And they released a video as well. Basically, they said that they received a lot of feedback during their February final test and decided to do another test. And they also say here that... Some of the feedback they agreed with and some they didn't. Maybe things like autoplay, things like combat, maybe they actually took some of that feedback and they're actually going to make some changes. That is what I am hoping. And again, at the end of the video, Beta Test of May will only be available to players residing in South Korea. So May 2nd through May 14th is the sign up. May 24th through May 30th is the playtime. And I do wonder, does Amazon's rumored... Um, and that one I was very skeptical of anyways, but that rumored global beta test in May for Amazon, my assumption is is not happening. And my assumption is they're going to do this test. They'll make the changes they need to make. And maybe they've made some changes already and they might make further changes. Then they give the client over to Amazon. Then we have a beta test potentially in June, like a global beta, and then potentially launch August is my current guess. It's going to depend on how many changes they have to make and how quickly that can be accomplished and polished. With that, guys, that's all I have for this video. If you guys liked the video, consider subscribing. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video.